Today's topic of discussion is a part program to machine the workpiece as shown in the figure on a CNC lathe machine. This question was asked in winter 14. So as you can see over here, this diameter is 25, this diameter is 20 and this radius is 10. Okay. And the straight portion, this is 20, this tapered portion is 10 and this straight portion is 50. So the most important part of any part programming is the position of the tool during various operation. So first the tool will be in home position okay, and then the tool will come near the workpiece so this we will define as B okay, and then it will come and touch the workpiece and thus we will call as C. Okay, and after touching the workpiece, since when we start the job, this will be a complete bar stock. Okay, so this will be like this. Okay, so now since this is diameter 25, we will remove this material in two step. Okay, first since it is 25 and we have to achieve diameter 20, so we will in first step remove some material and make the diameter as 22 okay to make the diameter 22 after the tool is here touching the workpiece and when it is doing the facing operation and then it should reach a point D okay so that after reaching D then we can use this position to further do the machining operation over here okay so that the material is removed from here similarly here because it is turning okay so this position new position of the tool we will call it as e okay and then from E, we have to take the tool somewhere far. Okay, so what we will do, this we will use as a reference, which is around 2 mm from the workpiece. Okay, so our tool will go somewhere over here. Okay, and we will call it as F. Okay, so then again it will come to this position okay so that the second operation where the remaining material can be removed so this is g where we are coming to the diameter 20 okay so then it can come and remove the remaining material from here okay that is same from here So G2 and it will reach to this particular position and this we will name as H. Okay. So here just I will rub this D to avoid the confusion. So this point is D. Okay. And this point is D. Okay. So after it reach H then it has to do the taper operation. So this we will name as I. Okay. And once that is done from I, then it will go to this particular position and do this radius. And here we can use circular interpolation. And finally, it will reach a position over here. This will be called as J. Okay. So this is because the material has to be removed from here okay and made this radius so here we will use circular interpolation to achieve this and this particular point we will call as j so now with this now we can start giving the position numbers so as you can see b is near the job but little away like 2 mm okay so first the position a is machine home position and 
this is 0 0 so this will be 0 2 so this will be 0 and this will be 0 2 or 2 then it will come to C so C will be 0 0 okay then it will go to D as we know we have to achieve the diameter 22 so it will be 22 comma 0 because it is still in the same line then it will go inside up to here okay so it is going inside okay this is 10 plus 20 so 30 mm it is going inside so but this will be same 22 but it is going 30 mm inside okay so then position f it will go somewhere far okay but we are kept in the same line so position f will be like 30 and 2 mm okay then we will come to g so that the remaining material is removed and we achieve the diameter 20 so this will be 20 and it is still away from the job like 2 mm and then from g it will come inside to remove the material and become diameter 20 okay so position h will be 20 and it is coming inside by 30 mm so this will be minus 30 okay then after that it will do this taper operation so it will go inside by 10 20 and 10 that is 40 mm okay and so 40 mm and this diameter is 25 so it will have this 25 and minus 40 and finally it will reach this j after removing this material to achieve this radius so j position is the diameter is 20 and it is inside by minus 10 so j position will be 20 and minus 10 okay so here we have seen regarding the position of the tool okay and i have explained the position in this diagram in the next video we will write the program hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye